target those individuals directly, which is going to be a smart thing to do because uh, what you'll want to do is, you know, they're, 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 are, they're interested in what you have to offer. They're already familiar with you. They already know what you offer and how you offer it. And they'll trust you. Maybe they purchase things from you. Maybe they're in your teams. You built businesses with teams. Maybe they're part of that. Those are exactly the people that you want to connect to. So what I suggest is that you create a page specific to your opportunity, product, or service that you can be a, an administrator of so that when you target your pay-per-click campaigns that you can enter that in therefore targeting exactly the people that are interested in what you have to offer so that's a very very important uh, target users who are whose friends are connected to and leave this and here's what here this is important right leave this field blank unless you would like to narrow your audience to friends of people connected to your page group or event um, and that's you know that once again is if you're targeting something so say you have a webinar or a seminar let's say you have a live seminar event in your local state and you only want to tell people in your local state about so maybe you have a page that says you know uh, you know, maybe you're from the state of Nebraska, and you say, you know, you have a a, a state of Nebraska page that you ma ma that you manage, then you could actually, you know, narrow in the focus to only promote to the people of the state of Nebraska. Therefore, you can have the most likely opportunity to have more people there because, you know, if it's a training that you know that you're promoting to people in Japan or China or wherever the case might be then you might not get a lot of people that want to fly to Nebraska for your seminar, right? So if you click the Advanced Demographics button, now you can actually see some things that are kind of cool. People who are in different relationships. So maybe you're in the dating niche and you want to target people who are single in a relationship, engaged and married. You know, so if you're in the dating niche, the wedding niche, uh, you know, maybe you have a book, uh, you know, uh, Amazon, site that you want to promote that that sells to, about relationships maybe you're an international marketer and you have things that are in other languages that you'd like to market remember Facebook's global so you can market to anybody in the world see how easy this is so back to that Justin Bieber uh, example here's if you if you change the education level people that are in high school then suddenly boom People in high school probably love Justin Bieber. See what I'm saying here? And then workplaces, right? And you can get down and dirty. So let's just say you're uh, an executive for Microsoft or you're an executive for uh, Nike or Adidas or whatever, a shoe manufacturer. And you want to target those people because those are global companies. You want to target those people that work there. Maybe you have some method that can help them, some way of time management that could save the company money, and you want to promote that through Facebook. Well, heck, nothing's stopping you, right? You can do that. So after you click this Continue button, what you're going to happen now is you're going to go down to Section 3. And Section 3 is about campaigns, pricing, and scheduling. And this is where people get scared because at this point you're really getting skin in the game you're putting skin in the game and you know you're putting literally putting your money on the line for you know what your entire business right and this is the part where most people chicken out and they back out because they go oh my gosh fifty dollars a day how the heck am I gonna afford that you know, and and then and then they start to see paper impressions, paper clicks. You know, they get they get confused by that stuff. They don't know how to schedule it. If I should schedule it now or later, or how do I do this? You know, this is where get traffic 3.0 is going to absolutely help you because get traffic 3.0 is is a tutorial coaching training program that's going to walk you through step by step exactly how to dominate the Facebook pay-per-click market. Facebook pay-per-click is in its infancy stage. It might seem like everybody is doing it, but the fact of the matter is that not a lot of people are doing this at all. You know what I'm saying? 
people in in the network marketing industry, the MLM industry, this home based business industry, they're just now figuring this out. The only people that have really throw tons of cash at it are large multinational corporations. They have money to throw at. It. You think that their budget is fifty dollars a day? Doubtful. They're putting in like a thousand, ten thousand dollars, you know, a week. Who knows how much money they have? Uh, you know, or a month. You know, and it's just a ton of money to to spend on on a, on this particular um, kind of advertising. You know what I mean? So us us who are get are new at it, and us who are trying to get from point A to point B, and trying to take our businesses from point A to point B without any prior knowledge, we depend on on coaching programs like Get Traffic 3.0. And you know, right here you can change the currency to to your local currency. You know, you can change the time zone so you know exactly when you're gonna schedule your ad. You know, change your campaign name to something that makes sense. Get traffic 3.0. You know, your bud daily budget's gonna be important. This is where people can lose their shirts. You definitely want to do at least fifty dollars a day. If you can't make that, uh, if you can't spend that much money, uh, you know, drop it down a bit. But you really need the impressions to see the results. Uh, to, to see the results of your conversions, you need to get you know at least a hundred people to click through your ad to, to, to get some a reasonable amount of data to just to, to figure out whether or not you need to change your headline, uh, you know the description, the picture, you know maybe the landing page or the website that you send them to is not converting. You need you need a lot of traffic in order to gauge the data, and that's going to be important uh, when you take a look at uh, your campaigns in general. I suggest that you do not, if you're new, that you do not run your campaign continuously uh, and that you set your campaign for a specific time frame uh, just so that you don't lose your shirt doing this. Uh, if you do your budget, lifetime budget, see is what is the most you want to spend over the campaign scheduled time period. So, you know, if you want to run this for you know, five days, so let's do the second through uh, one, let's just, do, let's just do a week, you know, and uh, uh, so you want to, you want to, you want to run it for a week, but you're not sure how many clicks you're going to get, and you only want to spend 50 bucks on it, well, I guarantee you that that 50 bucks won't last a week. It'll only last probably a couple of days uh, at the most. You know, obviously, that's going to depend right here on the pricing. So it's suggesting you suggested bid uh, at a dollar a click, right? So you're looking at 50 clicks. It could be a lot less than that when it comes down to it. Uh, you know, so if you want to try 10 cents, you can, you can honestly do whatever you want, but you just won't know if your ad's going to get a lot of impressions, you might have to change that. And by impressions, I mean is, is when people uh, see your ad. Every time it's displayed, that's, that's an impression. So the bid was too low, so in the bid range, so let's do a dollar. Dollar a click. So I click the review ad. There we go. So here's, here's basically your ad in the ad preview up here in the ad preview and now you actually can take a look and and take a look and see you know is this something that you want to want to go through and this is you know this is where you put the skin in the game this is where you say alright I'm gonna spend 50 bucks 100 bucks a thousand bucks 10,000 bucks on these campaigns and you know at this point that's that's where you get and advertising is advertising folks if you want to be successful in business eventually you're gonna to have to spend money on advertising this is the quickest way to get leads for your business is to actually spend money on pay-per-click advertising if you're online if you're not online the quickest way to, to, to make to, to to get leads is to pound the pavement and get out there and, and talk to people but is that gonna happen I don't know if it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? You just can't tell. But with the internet, you can actually force traffic into your funnels by paying for it. So this is just one way. This is a quick tutorial. I'm sorry if it took too long for you, but this is what we do here. Get traffic 3.0 bonuses.com. Make sure you opt into the link. I will talk to you on the next video. See you soon.